I may be a single mom, but sex is my top priority. Hmm. Here's my body uh, count. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. No, being a mother isn't top priority or anything like that. It's uh, still definitely body count. All yeah. right. <sighs> Let's get rotted off the, the range. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's the reason she became a mom in the first place after all. No. Oh, I used to call, when I was a bouncer, I used to call women like this baby cannons. Mm hmm. Because there was like five or six women that would come to the bar I worked at, which was Four Green Fields. It was an Irish pub. Yeah. Had four, three, four kids, all from different dudes, all from the bar. Mm. So I'm like, literally, uh, there was this one woman. I'm like, get out of here, baby cannon. <laughs> Put somebody over. Just get the hell out of here. Go find another bar. Right. You know, I, it's insane. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I see way too many of them, but uh, you'd think they'd learn their lesson after, I don't know, two, three, four, five different baby daddies, but no. Yeah, and listen, um, if you're having a kid, or, or if she has a kid and you're a single dude, even if you're mm -hmm. a divorced dude, you know, you're going to have to deal with the kid at some point. And you're going to get to, you're not my daddy, blah, blah, blah. And they want you to provide all this horse shit. But you have yeah. no discipline over the kid, even if he's like, you know, a fucking tyrant. Mm -hmm. You don't need that uh, frustration and you don't need to burn away your assets. Don't waste your time on that shit. Yeah. No, I agree with you. Uh, I actually saw this is a true story in the last couple of weeks. I saw a uh, a woman yelling out of her apartment window at some guy in the parking lot, leaving her place saying, I'm not a side piece. She is a single mother of five children. I think all she can expect at this point is side yeah. piece. <laughs> now, you know, this doesn't apply to widows. All right. If, no. if there's a mother out there and, and the dude died and fate just gave her a bad hand. I really, yeah, I just, I just can't throw any shade on that because they didn't ask for that. And it's just, a, that's a bullshit, you know, fucked up thing that happened. Right. But I would still be very leery about uh, the kid because it's not mine and I really don't want to, at my age, I'm not burning up any resources on any of that shit. I'm yeah. old. I would agree, man. Um, the widow thing, absolutely. And I mean, if there's a legitimate reason, uh, you know, like the guy was an absolute deadbeat and did leave. We know statistics on that are very low, but mm -hmm. if that's the event, again, I don't recommend it. But I understand. I, I don't recommend it at all. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. But here we go. Uh, back into the article here. Uh, let's see if I pull up the right screen. No, of course not. Ha -ha! <laughs> of course not. Now you're full screen. Um, let me see if I can get Murphy. this fixed here. All right. I can't. I can't figure out the screens here. There we go. It's hidden. All right. You think I never did a show or anything. All right, single mother Emily Dealey says she's been slut shamed by online trolls after declaring that sex is the most important thing in her life. Gee, you think? I'm not shocked by that at all. But no. she's refusing to back down from her belief. Of course not. It's delusion. Well, I mean, she all could right. be a legitimate sex addict, I guess, if that's a real thing. Mm. But at some, listen, the phrase too much of a good thing is not good. Yeah. All right. Everything in moderation. Yeah. That's how life works. Life is a balance. I mean, you can't walk around eating nothing but meat. That'll kill you. You can't go around eating nothing but the vegan thing because that'll kill you. I mean, right. come on. Yep. Well, and I think, uh, let me pop him. Oh, he did pop back in. Okay. I think one of the Hi. big things here, uh, for me anyway, if you are, if you are a parent, shouldn't that be priority number one? She she clearly, and we go back up to the headline here. Uh, she clearly says, "I uh, sex is my top priority. Not not parenting my children, not oh. making sure my children are raised properly, but simply just uh, sex." Okay, yeah, great, like when, wonderful. When I had my kids. I mean, something like inside me changed, and my kids became my number one priority, and I literally w would move mountains for them. Yeah. So, yeah. I hear you, man. All right. Getting back into this really quick. Dealey, who works as a relationship coach in the United Kingdom, frequently shares sex tips online with haters taking aim at the Amorous Blonde. So she's a relationship coach, too. Uh, this is going to work out well. 
No, no, she's a whore coach. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Um, she goes on here. I have had people call me a slut. Well, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, that's accurate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a whore, and even go so far as saying I'm an awful mother, and social services should be called on my kids. The 27 year old mom of two. What is it with 27? <laughs> the epiphany phase again. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, she's a 27 year old mom of two. Uh, oh. Told Jam sure. Press on Tuesday. Oh. There we if go. If I am frozen. Okay. Am I frozen in time? I had a little glitch there. Let's see. However, D <sighs> yeah, there we go. However, Dealey claims that her critics are closed minded and stuck in their ways, saying sex is the most natural thing a human can do. Yeah. Um, within the context of, of a relationship. Sure. Uh, and there she is there for the record. Uh, so nothing special to look at. Uh, in my opinion, I don't know, pop, what would you put her at? Uh, like a five. I have to see her tits. But she's got Jim the tattoos that's temporary. She, yeah. She's got the titty tattoo, and that that knocks her down a solid point. Mm. Well, she's got more tattoos. You can see the one on her arm yeah. and her legs and tattoos stuff. Tattoos everywhere. And I'd, get, I'd, I'd give her a four. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah. All okay. right. <clears throat> Continuing on here, sex isn't dirty and can be fun with whoever you like, she declared. Dealey uh, shares her hot tips on TikTok, where she's amassed more than 77,800 followers. In a recent clip, the coach claimed uh, women, not a coach, but whatever, claimed women shouldn't be worried if a man has slept with a thousand women, describing it as normal. Uh, she said women should worry if a man's body count is less than 20 uh, saying she would question whether that is wrong. What is wrong with him? Okay. Right. So that, that is just how delusional this woman is. And that yeah. she's yeah. teaching 77,000 other women to think exactly like that, yeah. setting them up mm -hmm. for long term failure. Sure. And this one in the well, short time. Yep. The long, the, the long look of what's going on. In their lives is going to be very bad when they get uh, you know north of forty. Oh, it's going to yeah. get ugly. Mm -hmm. And well, and she's I'm doing this, and she's bet. doing this and she's doing this on TikTok. So she's uh, she was what twenty seven. She's re she, her outreach. I would be guessing is teens in early twenties. Yep. So yeah, yeah, ladies, go ahead, go ahead, and you know. Go bang the dude that's banging a thousand women and, yeah, you pray, won't catch anything. and, and pray you don't get herpes. Uh, yeah. Herp right, I'm willing to bet. Uh, again, I'm, I'm not trying to analyze completely, but I'm willing to bet that there is a, a ginormous black hole inside of this woman. There's a lot yep. of uh, un, unaddressed issues in her life, probably some substance abuse, maybe alcohol issues. And she's filling that void with everything but accountability for her actions. So one dick at a time, she's numbing herself to the reality of the world around her. And now she wants everybody to go along with her game, fall in the same trap because like crabs in a bucket, miserable women can't let other women be happy. Instead, they've got to suck them all down in the black hole pit with them. So, yep. Uh, That's exactly what they do, man. And that black hole just happens to be yeah. in between her legs. Now there's a scientific word for the mm. crab bucket thing. I, I don't remember what it is, but I remember hearing that in bio, when I was in uh, senior in high school in, in biology, and the teacher was explaining that, and I'm like, "That's how bitches think." <laughs> and I was like 17. <laughs> God damn. There you go. Uh, yeah. All right, going on in this article a little bit further here. If I can get this computer to cooperate tonight, it's being a real pain on my end. Uh, there she is again. So, yeah, temporary. All around temporary, man. Um, the mom made the declaration with a young child sitting next to her. That's awesome. Fantastic. Golf clap to you, lady. In the comments section, she also disclosed her own body count, claiming it was around 60 or 70. Uh, well, that'll that'll probably be double by the end of the year. Uh, Meet Meanwhile, the TikTok star caused controversy by saying men should always date younger women and that cheating with an escort is acceptable. Okay. 
Hey. All well, right. First of all, men like what okay, they like. Moving on. Speaking. Men like young women. Yeah. Am I wrong? Yeah. Yeah. No. No, not at all. But it's but it's uh, stunning and brave. It's stunning. I don't agree with, but yeah. yeah, it's it's stunning and brave for her to say that men should date younger women. But if you know, God forbid, you pop, you pop me or Rhino say, hey guys, go get yourself a 19, 20 year old, 21 year old, you know, just so you can take her out and get her some drinks. We're the bad guys in that situation. I mean, at my age, I, yeah, I really don't think I would mess with anything older than forty. No, mm -hmm. no, I just because yeah. you know once they get north of forty, they literally the, the bitter switch goes on, the bitch switch flips, and it's just a fucking nightmare. And I'm not living yeah. my life walking around in eggshells around these fucking miserable bitches. Yeah. Jumping back in here really quick. Uh, speaking with Jam Press, Dealey doubled down on the fact that men should date younger women. Okay, I agree with that, saying that they should seek out females who are half their age plus seven years. Okay, uh, there's some science behind that. We actually covered that on the show not too long ago as well. So I, I don't agree with that either. Uh, women need older men to protect them, value them, and s stimulate them in both sexual and intellectual way. Uh, okay, I money? can't. I'm not disagreeing there. Yeah, well, yeah, like, money, of I'm, course, but that's that's provisioning and 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 protection. That that's a that's a given. Men PNP. are valued for what they can provide. What's that? Mm -hmm. PNP. Yep. Yeah, protector and provider. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, you know, women are valued for youth, fertility, uh, all of that. So, I mean, what she's saying here isn't too over the top. Um, but let's see where it goes from here. Women need, uh, okay, I read that. Uh, it's the ultimate ultimate match for pure satisfaction, the dating coach added. Oh, okay, dating coach. Say that loosely in air quotes. Meanwhile, Dewey also elaborated on her belief that sleeping with an escort does not constitute cheating. Uh, when a man pays for sex, there is no emotional connection involved, she explained. There is no messaging, sneaky emails, or phone calls. Uh, thoughts, gentlemen? Uh, you're making a phone call to someone to come service you. Yeah, I would I would yeah. I would check that under a sneaky phone call. Uh, I call it a pull the worm call. <laughs> You're calling this call. chick to pull your worm. Right? That's it. All Listen, right. I got it. I, I mean I was a young man once too. I understand completely how that works. Um but it yeah. usually uh leads to a whole boatload of disappointment for the women. Yep, you end up going yeah. to uh, Vegas for the weekend with the boys. One eight hundred wet tits. Hey, can you come pull my worm? <laughs> <laughs> I got to put that on failed seduction lines right there. I like it. It's good, good. I came up with my own joke right there. And the last thing I'm going to mention on this article, I don't want to spy on it. it says. Uh, Dealey cheekily declared orgasms last a few seconds. Will they have memories? Uh, yes, actually, they're bonding. It, it, when we talk about the five partners, it, uh, in women specifically, it literally starts rewiring their brain after five partners. So they go from being able to get to one man now having it wired in their brain to have another and another and another and always be in pursuit. So, yes, no, it does leave a lifetime of memories. Uh, it breaks your ability to pair bond, bottom line. So that yes, is does. that. And listen, men men kind of go through the same thing if they, they mess around with porn too much. But the mm -hmm. thing is, once they stop pulling their worm, yeah. it will reset after you know an X amount of time. It depends upon mm -hmm. how long you're in the worm pulling business. Mm -hmm. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for support of Sundays, Go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat case box.